Welcome back, like the video, let's jump into this. Right, we're seeing in the news that Australia lost 259 million in scams uh, over the past year, right? 47% of that were crypto. So all I have to say for this is, let's hope the scammers hold. If we're looking at the general market, guys, we can see, we can see that dogs is up 20%. Besides that, everything else is pretty much doomed, okay? It's red. It's looking really, really bad, okay? We're seeing Bitcoin down 4.7%. Uh, we're seeing uh, Doge down 3%. Nothing too crazy, but uh, yes, not great right now uh, after yesterday's dump. Pretty much caught everyone off guard. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, we found a pretty nice little short that we highlighted yesterday on that anyway. So if you did find that, good stuff. We'll be uh, talking about a bit more shorts and longs here opportunities throughout this video as well right fear and greed we can see that it is down to a 30 this isn't too bad okay uh this would be something that as is actually more bullish than bearish typically because people are scared the market makers may push it up from that point right if we're looking at etfs here we did see a pretty devastating red day yesterday 127 million out yesterday uh, which is not great at all all right uh, arc b being the main culprit here disgusting get away from me just stop selling mate just stop selling all right uh, besides that if we are looking at the caproli macro index obviously nothing has changed it is still in a recovery stance okay if we do finish down here at the end of this week this will go orange again likely anyway uh, but if we are looking at this which is what I'm, I'm really trying to showcase here today is uh, the the caproli macro index which takes into account um, on chain open interest that kind of stuff here uh, to really determine whether Bitcoin is bullish right we can see that it is actually still on a downward slope here so so uh, there could still be more downside to come. Uh, I do have some inverse parabolic curves to show you here today that could spell pretty bad news for Bitcoin if we don't get over certain levels uh, by the end of the year, right? So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to that. But as of right now, yeah, not looking fantastic here on the Caproli Macro Index. Uh, if we are looking at the on-chain production cost line, the absolute bottom for Bitcoin would be 44K right now. And this does align with a lot of the stuff we're going to show you in this video as well. Okay, if we are looking at the Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index, it's just how much money the miners are spending on mining Bitcoin. We can see that really this is uh, this is still on a positive slope. It's not too bad. Uh, it's not too good, but it's not too bad here, uh, which isn't really a bad thing coming through, obviously, right? So if we are going to liquidation heat map here, we can see that typically, yes, walls have been put in in this area, but Bitcoin is trying to play out a bounce right now. So we'll see if they do want to come up and bring this back to the 61, 62s, uh, because yeah, pretty brutal dump here yesterday. So uh, I would imagine a bit of a rebound here soon. Also, we've played out a measure move that I'm going to show you in a minute anyway, right? Uh, we're just about to put out a free signal on this platform, Patreon, okay? So uh, yes, just sign in with Google, press follow, no payment, nothing like that, okay? You just follow, okay? You get a free signal every weekday. If you want to do that, it's right there for you, okay? Besides that, let's jump in to the charts. Okay, so long term, kicking things off with the daily here, we can see that we did play out this wedge measure move. This is why it's important to draw in the wedge once the high is confirmed. Okay, we did get that. Uh, that has played out uh, and it was a fantastic little trade, as you can see, coming through here. So good stuff there. Uh, we have played that out now. So this bounce is pretty much expected. Okay, potentially coming up and testing 61.5, this kind of area. Just retesting this trend line before deciding whether it wants to reclaim it or deciding whether it wants to absolutely obliterate towards the down side. With this measure move being played out now, we can basically just get rid of it. Uh, we can also redraw this trend line once we've actually confirmed a, uh, a low here. Okay, so this isn't valid just yet, but if we spend a few days above the trend line, then the, the trend line will be confirmed with two hits or three hits. Uh, this this is okay. Okay, technically it is a correct trend line, but uh, what I will say here is it's better if a candle body is around there, just typically anyway, right? So uh, yes, we could still potentially get this measure move down, but I want to see this candle close i want a confirmed low to come in here before actually initiating this measure move so the measure move would be after that so in the next couple of days uh, would be potentially down to 54.6 if uh, if it does want to kind of come up first and then bang it down right uh, in that case that will be that we start dumping even more we will be looking for a trade essentially from the low we've put in just now okay so that's at 58k if we uh if we lose that area we'll essentially be looking for a trade of five percent down here uh, to 
essentially the bottom of the range here, right? So the bottom of this brutal descending range that we're in, okay? Um, in terms of take profits, we can basically just take profit any one of these lows. This one here, 3%, beautiful stuff. This one here, at 5%, beautiful stuff, okay? So that's the next trade we are looking for here, but I want to see us come up first to really confirm this. Uh, if we do lose this low at any point, maybe I just play the momentum trade as we'll see on the shorter time frames anyway. Uh, but besides that, yes, that's pretty much the downwards moves we're looking for. The upwards moves have actually got better here. Uh, and the reason for that is we're actually in a wider range. Okay, so before we're in this little wedge structure. Okay, now if we do head up and we break over 66k, we have a bigger measure move towards the upside, which will be fantastic because we'll actually be fading and getting over uh, all of these descending trend lines, which will be fantastic. Okay, but I do just want to say it's not super likely this happens at this moment in time and the reason for that uh, i'll actually just get rid of this trend line for now okay the reason for that is because we didn't hit this trend line on the last move up right so we can see this range coming in right we didn't hit this trend line on the last move up and we talked about this previously we said hey uh, we have this trend line here okay next we'll have this trend line here and we didn't close candle bodies up near that trend line so it could initiate an inverse parabolic curve and what that is if we do uh, just turn this white real quick here there we go beautiful stuff uh, we can see this kind of curvature structure on the trend lines and this is typical of uh, some kind of uh, basically a black swan event in in motion it's it's beginning to happen right so uh, if we do start getting aggressive towards the downside here and let's say we can't get over 62k here then we could get another trend line okay and then another trend line you can kind of see what i'm getting at here okay where it is just falling off a cliff right uh, so it's really dependent on if we can get over this trend line, this this most recent trend line here, uh, to kind of fade this para this inverse parabolic curve, and just to kind of draw this in for simplicity here, guys, it's essentially this, right? It's essentially that kind of parabolic curve. So uh, yes, just be aware of that because that is ind in indicative of um, kind of an inverse parabolic curve, which uh, which can be um, a black swan event. Okay, right. Besides that, if we do head up and we do smash it, uh, we are still looking for that trade from 71k upwards okay a little bit far away now so we're not going to spend any time on that but uh yeah if we do want to head down lower then all we got to do is break this low we'll be looking for a trade essentially from about 49k down to 46k that'll be fantastic okay um besides that absolute lows for bitcoin as we talked about in the news just now we are looking uh, roughly around 44k this is also where our trend line is coming through we spend pretty much every video talking about this so i'm not going to spend too much too long on it but yes this is the line that should hold uh, really should hold okay if it doesn't hold very very bad for bitcoin and we spend uh, multiple months inside a range between i would say 35k and, uh, and 40 uh, well, maybe even 50k actually 35k and 50k and just ranging in that area uh, so like a mini bear market generally right so that is going to be it for this section let's jump in to the midterm guys prime xbt is giving you a hundred dollars for free you just got to sign up it's in the description okay okay just do it please you don't have to, but I mean, if you're looking for a new exchange that do lots of giveaways, check them out, guys. Honestly, I've been using this exchange. It's fantastic. Okay, no word of a lie. Go over there right now. $100 for free. It's got your name on it. All right. Midterm here looks disgusting. I, I don't like this at all. What is this? I don't like this. Get away from me, all right? It does look like we're trying to reclaim the 60-minute volume weighted ATR band. I'm not sure why this is double printing here. It's not very nice. I don't like it. Hopefully, we can fix that. Okay, I think it's worked. I think it's worked here. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, we can see that uh, we do have the 60-minute volume weighted ATR band and the 15-minute volume weighted ATR band here on the 4-hour. Okay, if we throw some moving averages in there as well, we can see that the uh, the 7 SMA on the 4-hour here is still above price. So, uh, yeah, any kind of rebound bounce here, we need to get above this 7 SMA on the 4-hour uh, and the hourly as well, actually. We'll get to that in the short time as well. We are actually above that on the hourly, but, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're testing the, the 21 EMA as well. So, uh, what we will say is, yeah, get above this seven, uh, this seven <laughs> SMA on the four hour, and uh, from this point, yes, uh, we can probably head up, retest the mid 61s. All right. Uh, besides that, what I will be saying is, yes, we have two hours left in this candle. Anything can happen here. This could turn out to be a disgusting wicking scenario in which we do just plummet into the abyss, right? And we do have liquidation levels down here at 55k from all of the people that just longed here at the Trump pump, right? So uh, yes, what we will say is, it's quite likely we come down at this point because we have made that confirmed high. 
high, but uh, what we can say as well is uh, it is super steep right now and some spillover towards the upside does make sense, okay? So uh, yeah, a little bit of a rebound is what I'm expecting, but uh, yeah, if we can't maintain pretty much above I would say even 60k right now, then uh, I do think it's quite likely we do bang it down a little bit further. Okay, and maybe just oscillate between, I would say, 58k and 62k for the next few days generally, okay? Uh, if we want to head up, if we want to head up here, then uh, there may be some trades, but I want to see us above this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band to really initiate any uptrend here, okay? Because that's, that's really the zone to get above for those uptrends to begin. And um, yeah, and it's, it's also a great area to watch for the top of the range as well. So if we do get rejected at that point, there might be a beautiful short there once that mini structure breaks anyway. Okay, let's move down to the degen zone. Okay, you dirties, let's just have a look. Let's just have a look at this thing, okay? We can see we are trying to recover on an hourly, okay? 55 minutes left in this candle, okay? We did close the last candle above the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band and the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. Uh, and what we will say with that is uh, that's fairly bullish, but hitting this 21 EMA uh, is usually a sign after a dump that we do actually have a bit of a rebound towards the downside. So it's really after this downwards wave, what happens after that, right? If we can get above this high after the downwards wave, then uh, there is actually a potential degenerate trade okay which will be uh, towards the upside here uh, essentially here right so we'll be looking for a one percent trade up into this price action channel zone we talked about this yesterday but nothing really came into fruition we didn't get above the uh, we said we need to get above the uh, the 200 EMA here right that did not happen so we couldn't get the trade up there yeah so that it kind of writes itself here where yes it keeps us out of trouble because we waited to get over all of those things right the 15 minutes okay the 200 ema this trend line okay but we didn't get over the 200 ema sorry the 200 sma this trend line and we didn't get over that 200 ema this purple line right so uh with that yes no criteria hit to make the trade and then we fell even further all right so now we are trying to reclaim this 60 minutes. If we can, there is an opportunity for a beautiful long here. And this long actually could last a lot higher, okay? It could be a 2% trade very, very easily, all right? But uh, as of right now, let's just target the 1% trade because it is degenerate zone, okay? It's degenerate time. Um, what we will say towards the downside here, guys, is if we can basically lose this low at 57.8, I think this is going to be a bit more of a cascading thing, which just basically means we are falling into the abyss with no signs of stopping, picking up pace to to that maximum velocity before slamming into the ground. And that ground is zero, okay? It's not zero, it's not zero. It's more like 45, 50K, okay? But uh, yes, if we're picking up velocity towards the downside, then uh, we want to be short, of course. And how to enter that short, I hear you ask. We'll be looking for a trade roughly from 57.6 downwards here to about 56K initially, okay? Uh, and then we will be watching, we'll be watching this like a hawk to see if it does want to bounce. But the next real level is around 53K. So there is a potential chance here that you could get a 7% trade towards the downside if it's more of a swan event big crashing momentum towards the downside okay um but besides that yes uh, we have taken a dive under these we are trying to get back above the water and now uh yes it is kind of that fight for 60k yet again that boring oscillating disgusting crappy fight for 60k that we just hate okay we all hate it okay so uh yeah if we can get out of this area great whether it's towards the up or the downside i just want some direction here okay so uh, let's just see what happens but those are the trades i'm really looking for here right massive crashing scenario basically if we lose 57 7 i'm looking for a short okay if we can uh, reclaim this area here okay about 60,500, then i'll be looking for a quick little long here all right just be aware of this trend line as well that's going to be important uh, so yeah i mean there is space to actually hit this don't don't get me wrong okay but it, it is a window it's not something that's like crazy there's dogs bite barting barting barking fighting whatever <laughs> <laughs> There's dogs in the background. Uh, what we can say here is, yes, uh, this is the trade. Okay, this is the trade we're looking for right now. If we do want to absolutely dead cat this into the abyss, then that's the other trade. Okay, that's going to be it from me, guys. Have a fantastic day. Be sure to like the video and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know where you think Bitcoin's going. Did this, did this dump liquidate you? Did it surprise you? Were you just bullish to the moon? Let me know uh, because, uh, yeah... I respect you guys and I want to I want to hear your opinion at the end of the day. All right. So, see you guys very very soon. Have a fantastic day. Peace out. Goodbye from me. Have a good